Hi everybody, it's Carol and welcome to my channel. What I'm doing today is I'm making another glue book. Um, I did have a glue book and I use the pages out of there. I made a folio and the folio was basically what I do with my glue pages. And I have one page left. So I have a coloring book here. It's a vintage style coloring book. And I bought this a couple of years ago when our family, we were traveling and I had, we were on the airplane. So I, I needed something because I do not like flying. So I needed something just to keep me relaxed. And I did buy a coloring book and I only colored in a few pages of it, but I am going to use it now and I'm going to do, I'm going to make this my glue book. And I'll just keep it until I need it again for more ephemera. And that's what I do with my glue books. I don't make them and keep them. I make them and then I use them for ephemera. Or even do what I just did. And that was making a folio out of my, out of the glue book. So I have... I have book pages and music papers and I'm just going to put the ephemera down on here and I'm not going to decorate it yet. I'll do that when I, I don't know, maybe when I'm finished with it. So I'm just going to lay everything down and I have many papers here and I'm just going to, I'm going to make them on the bigger side because my other glue book was I just I had little pieces of paper on there and I'm just going to use make this one a little different so right here I have dictionary papers I have dictionary papers and I also have music paper and just other odds and ends left over from different projects but I'm trying to keep it you know just like low-key black and white as best I can some will have a little color in them and I'm just gonna keep them on hand here but like I said I'm going to use a large papers in this way you know that the pages will fill up because I'd like to get this book done in maybe two or three videos you know I don't want this to last forever because I'm going to want to use it that's why I'm not I'm not you know I won't be decorating it other than putting these papers down because because I don't want this putting the um, papers in here, t you know, to last for a long time. I love music papers inside anything. Yeah, so I, I made that video and I made a, I guess it's a folio and I made it with, um, with my glue book pages and I was so happy with the way it turned out but now now I have to make another another glue book which I'll tell you I'm, I'm addicted to it and there's so many videos of glue books going around for years I mean they've been you know people are making them for you know a couple of years now that I've noticed and everybody makes them different everybody has their own style for making glue books I'll just get this little edge off here
Yes, I think these making these glue books are so addicting. And, you know, so many people make them with, you know, papers that are dear to them and that they want to keep. I do have many of those, and maybe one day I'll make a glue book and keep them in the glue book. I don't know. Okay. Now that one's finished. I'm only going to do the one side and the back I'll cover either. These are pretty thick pages. They're not like a thin coloring book page. They're pretty thick so I'll probably just put coffee dyed paper on the back for journaling. Just in case I use them for a journal. Because the last the glue book I made before this one, I used it for, I used it for, um, for the journal. The pages were, the pages were all filled with ephemera from the journal, which was pretty cool. Now let's see if I can tear this straight. And it doesn't matter if it hangs off the page because you just cut that down. Just cut it off to make it even with the page. And as you can tell, I'm not gonna do the whole book right now. I'll just do a few pages just to get it started. Just to get this started. And here is one of my painting pages that I have done with the um, Arteza paints. Now I made quite a few journaling cards with this, with these, and I have so many different styles of this. And I just thought I would incorporate them inside the glue book. I do have a few left that are on the um, they're on the uh, watercolor paper, but I I think they're too thick. Yeah, they're too thick to um. to bring in, to bring into here. I hope everybody's doing well today and staying cool. If you live anywhere where it's hot, or, you know, if the weather is warm, because I'm in Pennsylvania and Yesterday started our heat spell, and it's it's in the 90s, and it's going to be that way, I believe, all week. It's very hot and humid outside. It's funny how when you live in the different seasonal temperatures and you know when it's cold we all complain oh it's too cold too cold and then when it's hot you know everyone is they can't wait for the cooler weather to come but I love living with the seasons I couldn't live I don't think I could live in, you know, like Florida or just some place where it's really 
not that much change in temperature, whether it's just always cool or always hot. But I'll tell you, it's, I wouldn't mind living in Hawaii because we were there a few times visiting and not visiting on vacation and the weather there is gorgeous. I mean, at night it, it gets down to like 70. It's like the low 70s and there's always a beautiful, beautiful breeze. And the days are warm, but not like what we have. But we've talked with people that live, that moved from here to Hawaii. And they said that, you know, like they actually moved back home because they, they got island sick, you know, and they just go back and forth and visit. But they're from the West Coast. Okay, I may have to stick a little piece of something over here. Just to cover up that little spot. Okay. Now the pages are going to look plain right now, but they'll perk up once I once I put color on them. Let's see. Maybe I'll start at the bottom. I probably did inking on this side here because I can see some ink spots on here. So now this way, having, doing this, um, you know, I'm going to leave this whole piece, making this glue book inside the coloring book, I have all the pages are all neatly stacked inside this coloring book, and it'll be ready at hand for when I need it. So whatever project I use this for, that's the um, that's how I'll incorporate it into the book. That's how I'll decorate it. It's really fun to um, look up different glue books and see how other people do them. Oops, because they are they are different. People make them in so many different ways. I just 
off my glue. Okay. I also had a coloring book that we were we were in the desert in Nevada and had one of the little shops they had there I bought a a coloring book you know from cactus and whatnot from the desert and I thought it was pretty pretty nice and I got that for going back home on the airplane. I have the color when I'm flying because it just relaxes me because I I really don't like flying. So I did color in it and the pages were so beautiful that I made a journal out of it. I made a journal out of it and I did sell it. Somebody bought it and but I'm not surprised because it was gorgeous. You know, the different cactus that they have and it was the, the pages were nice and and it just looked so beautiful. Okay, I need a little piece for here. And you know, to be honest, when you make a glue book, there is no rhyme or reason with how you put the pages down. Now this is really thick because these pages are thick anyway. And then when you put the other papers in there, it's really thick. Okay, let's see what we have here. These are leftover pages of projects that I've done. I don't know how many pages are in this coloring book. So yeah, if, if you want to relax, get, get out a coloring book and crayons and, you know. Although even when I was younger, I loved to color. So maybe, maybe it's something that you're born with. I don't know. As I'm coloring, my little Stella is sleeping right next to me, and I'm just hoping my neighbor's dog doesn't start barking because she's a, a little dog and she's a yapper, and if she hears anything outside and she doesn't know what it is, she'll just start barking and barking and barking. Those little dogs have big barks, big voices. And it's funny because then if something or someone comes near her, after she's barking at them, she'll run away. it looks like either way I'm gonna have little little peekaboo places that have to be covered. I 
I love this paper. This is, um, oh, it's, I don't, I'm not sure of the name, but it's like postal paper, and I, I love it. this little piece and this little bottom piece to cover. Maybe I'll do that there. Oh, I don't know how. I don't know how much time I've been cooking here. This is a good piece. I don't know, my, my ear just went off and sometimes I don't even realize it's on until it turns off or vice versa if it's off and then it turns on. So I did four pages and I don't know, there could be like 12 pages there so maybe I'll just do one or two more. and just make this into two videos because it would be way too long if I did it, made this in one video. I love the way these um, painted pages came out. get those paints out again and you know um, I, I did the painting pages a couple of different ways and I really like the way it turned out when I put the paint I made a couple of different color paint piles on on a paper plate and I just dipped the paper inside of it and you brought the, the paint down and then just lifted it up and oh God, it was just so pretty it was so pretty I really liked it I made journaling cards out of that and tucks and belly bands I'm not sure if it's all used up because I have ephemera all over the place. I have a couple of piles here, a couple of piles there. You know, to tell the truth, as organized as you want to be, and you get all your all your papers organized and put away and then when you pull it out to start working with it it's all in the disarray again so well for me anyway and then I have to start all over reorganizing what I have to do is I have to make a a journal or a ephemera cover or ephemera folder where I can put my small ephemera in because I don't like the way I have it at the moment. For me, it's not organized very well. 
So I do have to find a way to organize that and then do something with it. I think maybe I'll make this my last page. I don't want it to be too boring. Just, you know, watching me cut the, pull the papers apart and glue down. So this will give me five. I believe this will be five pages. And I'll see what I have left. And maybe I'll do a couple and just leave me five more to do for part two. And that may even be later on. I was actually in the middle of doing laundry. And then I thought, oh gosh, let me let me start my glue book. So okay, this is number five. And how many do I have left? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have 11 left. Maybe I'll do one more. It'll be a big one. I'll use, I'll use my big paper and get this done. There's a, a girl that I watched that did, um, she made a glue book and she used like maybe four sheets of paper to fill one page of the glue book. And I thought that was a good idea because then when she cut it into small pieces, you know, it was, it was easy because okay, I could probably do that. Because then she decorated it. She decorated it after she cut it. You know, because if you sometimes you when you put your ephemera down and you have like a butterfly or a mushroom or roses, flowers, you don't want to cut through them. So you try to cut around. I actually cut through them. Like I guess it just depends what you're what you're going to use it for. Okay, so some pages have smaller ephemera. This is my page with the largest ephemera. And what was cool was one somebody I don't I don't remember who it was but she made a glue book and actually it was not a book it was glue like a board and she just put book pages on it but different color book pages like some were like what I have here you know like a little vintagey where the pages are already turned and you know and then she had lighter pages but it was all book pages storybook pages you know with different font different you know the backgrounds were different some pages were white some were kind of yellowy like the one I have here 
and some were even darker like this one. And it really looked nice. So this is like a base, a base page and I'm excited to decorate it. You know, putting the different ephemera down on it. This would have been a fun coloring book. And I think I'm I think I'll do one more. I don't want to put this whole thing down. This will be my last one. Definitely be my last one. And I think that's seven. This will be seven pages that I have. I loved working with these paints. Here's the music. Sweet Mary Jo. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this side. Have more of the music. Music notes on it. Looks like my glue is slowing up. This is the last of my art glitter glue. And I did order some from Amazon, and it's coming today. I go through so much art glitter glue, and it's the it's the one that I love working with the best. It holds great, and it comes in a nice bottle. Good there. I don't know if these glue pages are boring to some people. I think these pages are the best to lay ephemera on. Actually, I would love to do a whole page with music paper. I wonder if I have enough. Oh, this I... These are my scraps, and this I had backed with coffee paper. But I do want to do, and maybe I'll make that my last page. I want to make a whole page of music paper. Oh, I don't know if I have, and my music book is put away. I wonder if I'll have enough. I wish I thought of that earlier and I could have had a whole sheet of music paper like this here. That would have been perfect because this was a pretty long. Look how thick this page is now. Okay, let's see. I wonder if I'll make it. I'll put what I have here, and I'm going to end with this. Hopefully I have enough. If I don't, I'll just go, go get my music book and put it on after, after this video is over. Because I do want to have one page 
with music paper and I'm just going to put floral ephemera on it. Looks like the name of this song is Remember Me by Balfi, the Bohemian Girl. Normally I would cut the top of this off, but I'm not going to do that because I need this paper. I want to fill this page up with, with music paper. I think I'll have enough. It'll be close. I think when I get down to the bottom, I'm, I'll be piecing it. I'm going to try and see if I can get it. being straight up. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm probably going to have to wait and put the rest on. And it's only going to be like one piece. Hey, I think I'll make it. Boy, talk about luck. And I just dropped the piece of music paper fell off my table. It's upside down, but I got it. But it doesn't matter if it's upside down because I'll have ephemera on there. This looks pieced. Get these little ends down. Okay, so that's my music paper, my music sheet. I do like this too. All right, I'm going to have to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I may even do do the cover. It'll really be thick because this is just a little thicker than those. 
I should have done this one here. Okay, so it's like almost halfway done. So, here you go. Thank you for coming along and gluing with me in my new glue book. And I'll be back again with part two. Thank you so much, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.